What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to fix, or hopefully repair, this Sony LCD TV that has a distorted picture on the screen. Uh, the model number is KDL-46V5100. And let's go ahead and take a look at the screen so you guys get a better idea what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the TV. So the TV does turn on and it stays on but we just have a distorted image on the screen. And let's take a look. The TV is turning on, there it is. We have vertical lines going up and down on the screen. And I tap the board, wiggle the connectors, and it doesn't flicker, it stays the same. So that, that lets me know that it's a bad part on a board. So you wanna remove all the screws on the outside edge, and there's some screws near the input as well. And before you get started, make sure your TV is out of warranty. But if you have this particular model, this TV is definitely out of warranty because this is an older TV. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this. There's some clips on the outer edge you might have to pop off too. So it sticks a little bit, the cover. Uh, this is the power board right here. This right here, this long ooh, thunderstorm outside. This long board right here is the inverter board and this turns on the backlight. That's what gives you the backlight glow. I'm gonna actually show you that right now. So see how the, um, it's glowing right here and it's shining through the back of the um, chassis of the TV. And when I hit power, that light goes off. So this inverter board controls the backlight. So here's the power cord coming in to the power board and this converts AC volts to DC volts to energize the rest of the TV boards. But that doesn't happen unless the main logic board sends a signal to the power board telling the power board high voltage to turn on. Now if you don't have the standby voltage going to the main logic board, when you press the on button, this board will never send that signal to allow the high voltage to turn on. And if uh, right here, if you don't have that 3.3 standby voltage, right here then the TV will never turn on. Uh, if you have no video and no audio usually that's a bad main logic board. If you have no power and you do have standby voltage coming from the power board then that could be a main logic board issue. Um, but you do, if you do have audio but you don't have video it can be a bad TCOM board that controls the LCD panel. This is directly connected. This TCOM board is directly connected to the LCD panel, um, connected up here using um, with ribbon cable connections. And if you have distorted image on the screen, usually that is a bad TCOM board because this controls the image on your LCD screen. If you don't have a backlight glow, then it's the inverter board usually that's defective. So make sure the um, if you don't have a glow on the screen, focus on this long board right here on the outer edge of the board, TV chassis. Since we have a distorted image and vertical lines on the screen, we're gonna focus on the TCOM board. Now if you have black horizontal lines on your screen, that could mean you have a bad LCD panel, which uh, replacing a TCOM board is not gonna do anything. So we're gonna unplug the TV. What you wanna do is squeeze the sides right here and then pull this out. Never ever pull on the wires. This one you have to squeeze from the top, use your thumbnail, and pull it out. Right. And this you have to peel up on this right here. I made it look easy because I already removed it. You just get your fingernail under that and lift up. And there's a little handle right here. And you can pull that out. And you'll notice there's a black line. That black line is an indicator um, making sure when you close that latch, it's flush with the latch, letting you know that the cable is plugged in correctly. So get your fingernail under that, lift up, and then grab the handle, pull out. And then there are screws here, 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 and here you have to remove. You just push down and your thumbs right here and here, and this will come out. And here, these are thermal pads that you see and the thermal pads should be on the IC. 
just like that. And it helps transfer the heat from the chip to the heat sink, the heat shield. That's why you see that this big uh, heat sink right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and replace the whole board because this video is really aimed for anyone that has a broken LCD TV that just wants their TV up and running for under a hundred dollars. I found the board, actually it was kind of hard to find. Uh, I, I tried oh, many different sources but uh, electropartsonline.com ended up having the board and believe it or not it was cheaper than the other sources which I'm glad and the warranty on um, on these TV boards from electropartsonline.com is probably the best online I've seen. Let's go ahead and open it. I got the board for around $50. Pretty pretty inexpensive compared to the most other sources. And their warranty is pretty amazing. So we do not charge restocking fees for boards. Even if the board is uh, received as a di damaged item, of course, um, you order the part, an error, uh, ordered the part, uh, incorrect part, you changed your mind, customer canceled the repair, purchased the TV model instead of the part number. Sometimes if you uh, order the board based off of your TV model, uh, you, you know that board may not work for all TV models. So if you're searching for your board, don't order the boards based off of your um, TV model. Order based off of the, the board number and the version or the sticker number right here. Board out. Do not work on a carpet when replacing boards. These boards are static sensitive, so make sure there's a thermal pad on this IC. The part number is identical. The parts on the board are identical too as well. So we got the right board. And let's go ahead and set it down right here. There's a couple of thermal pads right here, by the way. Again, push down. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And plug this one in. And make sure you hear that click. And then this one, lift up the latch. All right, so we're gonna slide it in like that, and when you close the latch, you notice that black line disappears. So this one right here, do the same thing. You wanna slide it under the, there's right here a white tab and a white tab that goes under it, and it slides in, lift up on the latch, and then close it. Yep, that feels good. All right, and then cover this up. All right, turn down the TV. Let's turn up this light. There we go. It's working like a champ. Pretty sweet. And let's hit the menu button. Make sure you have a decent image. Awesome. Yeah. So if you guys are, uh, if you guys found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you guys are interested in a more advanced repair, uh, the component level repair for the TCOM board post a comment or give me a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys are interested in more advanced repairs. But this video is really aimed for everyone that just wants their broken TV up and running again. If you know anyone that has a distorted image on their screen with vertical lines going up and down on the screen, click on the share button below and share this video link to them. Yeah, if you want more TV repairs coming your way, uh, click on the subscribe button right here. And if you're interested in uh, more TV repairs, click on my TV repair playlist right here. And check out the link in the video description below where I got the board with the coupon code.